In this video I'm going to take another look at oxidation number but I'm going to use some slightly more complicated examples than the first video. So we'll start with this one. What's the oxidation number of oxygen in F2O? So if we think about the rules we've got a an always rule for fluorine. Each fluorine is minus one so we multiply that by the two because there are two F's in F2O so that gives us a combined minus two. So to keep this compound neutral, that oxygen, remember it's usually minus two, but because it's with fluorine, it turns into a plus two. What about this one with chlorine? So what's the oxidation number of chlorine in NaClO? Apply the rules, we've got sodium, which is group one, so that's plus one. We've got oxygen, minus two in this case, because there's no fluorine in there. So what have we got left? We've got plus one with minus two. So we need a plus one from the chlorine to keep this neutral. And so chlorine's oxidation number is plus one in this. And as a result, what, we, what do we call this? It's called sodium chlorate one. So that Roman numeral there, that one in the bracket, is the oxidation number for the chlorine. Here's another one. So what's the oxidation number of chlorine in NaClO3? And you can have a go at naming this one as well. So we've got sodium plus one. Three oxygens, so that's three times minus two each, which is minus six. So what must the chlorine be? To keep this neutral, it's obviously plus 5. So what would you call this? Well, the previous one was called sodium chlorate 1. So this is obviously sodium chlorate 5. And we'll finish with this one. Suggest the formula for sodium chlorate 7. So we need the chlorine in the plus 7 oxidation state. And we must also have a sodium in there and some oxygen in there. And the answer is NaClO4. So we'll just break that down, check that it works. Sodium plus one, four oxygen, so that's four times minus two each equals minus eight. So we've got plus 1 minus 8, that must be plus 7. And so we use the Roman numeral for 7, VII.